my name is Laura Shetter. I am an instructor for Project Dragonfly for both Earth Expeditions and web-based learning community classes. And I'm here today to give you some tips on how to pack for your first Earth Expedition to either Belize or Baja. Um, I have been to both Belize and Baja, so I have a few tips to share with you. What not to bring? Please do not bring luggage that is too heavy for you to carry or luggage that is on wheels because you will not be able to carry it through the terrain of our Earth expeditions. Do not bring too many bags, do not bring wheels, do not bring heavy luggage, and do not bring your dog. There are three pieces of luggage that you should bring. Number one, a small bag just for your field bag that you will have with you every day when you go out in the field. Number two, you will have a small book bag. Think of it as your carry-on luggage that you will take with you to pack for one or two nights when we cannot access all of our bags. Finally, you will have one piece of luggage that is about the size of a carry-on bag and this will be your biggest piece of luggage. Again, no wheels and nothing too heavy. There are a few important documents and monetary items to bring with you on your Earth Expedition. Be sure to bring your passport with three or more blank pages and it must be updated. You will also need to bring your credit cards. Remember to notify your credit card company that you will be leaving the country. Pack photocopies of your passport and your credit cards and pack them separately from your actual passport and credit cards. You will need to bring your HGH health insurance card, bring your course reader, the entire thing will be used on every Earth Expedition, bring your expedition planner, and finally bring some cash. The amount of cash you bring is up to you. You will only need it for purchasing souvenirs or extra snacks. We are going to review what you will take with you every day in your field bag. You should always have with you your field journal. Simple, about this size. Um, also consider a right in the rain journal. Refer to your expedition planner for details on that. Writing utensils, especially a pencil for the waterproof pages. Sunscreen water, journal, hat. Whenever you ask your instructor what you should have with you every day, that will be our motto. Sunscreen, journal, water, hat. Please bring two bottles of water to make sure that you are hydrated enough. Uh, other field items, you want to have a calculator. You may choose to bring your camera with you every day wet wipes, maybe other personal medications that you may need throughout the day. And in case our days get long, you may want to have your headlamp and an extra flashlight with you. That's it. Proper footwear is essential for your Earth Expedition. Again, keep it simple. Uh, you will need a pair of light walking shoes, either lightweight hiking boots or a pair of tennis shoes. A pair of flip-flops to wear in the shower or on the beach and a pair of water shoes that can get wet and dry very very quickly. Solomon and Keen are great brands. Okay how to pack your clothes for what you will look like a day in the field. You will want to have a hat that blocks the sun, sunglasses, a watch, that has a second hand and you could also have this for your alarm clock. You will want to have short sleeve shirts or maybe tank tops that are lightweight and quick dry material and also a long layer that might be a little bit warm but most importantly again quick dry and lightweight. Especially for students going to Belize you will want to have a lightweight raincoat or poncho. For pants, you will want to have <laughs> convertible pants, um, pants that are zip-off that can change into shorts, 
Um, we've already gone through footwear. Um, you will want to make sure that you have socks that are quick dry and that will get you through a day in the field. See you in the field. Pack one or two bathing suits or swim trunks a bandana for sun cover or multi-purpose rag. It is optional to bring a rash guard for warmth or sun protection. In Baja, you will have a wetsuit provided for you. In Belize, you will not. Also bring a few changes of clothes. Quick dry material is best, and please pack items that you do not mind getting dirty or maybe even ripped up or beaten up. <laughs> Finally, remember to pack lightly. It is okay if we see you in the same outfit two or three times. This is not a fashion show. When packing your cosmetics and toiletries, please keep, keep it very, very simple. Um, I recommend using all travel size items. Uh, you do not need to bring all of your makeup. Keep it simple and small. As far as packing a personal first aid kit, be sure to have any kind of medications you think you might need, refer to the expedition planner for a complete list. Um, but intestinal and stomach medications, especially motion, anti-motion sickness will be good. Um, Anti-itch for insect bites. And if you have any personal medications to bring, please remember to keep it in its original container that keeps it easiest for international travel. Please bring a quick drying towel or a camp towel. You will want to bring a sarong or some other kind of thin beach cover up. Snorkeling gear. You will only need to bring your mask and snorkel. The fins will be provided for you. Finally, bring a travel alarm clock that is battery operated. There are some additional items that you can pack that are optional. Again, be sure to reference the expedition planner for complete lists. You could pack an extra change of clothes in a Ziploc bag that could be a clean outfit to wear home on the airplane. You could bring a, per, a pair of personal binoculars. If you would like to write in a journal separate from your field journal, you can bring that. Uh, feel free to bring a pair of earplugs or two. You could pack a small umbrella to protect you from the elements. If you would like to bring extra camera equipment, and finally, if you would like to pack your own extra personal snacks, be sure to pack non-perishables that will not melt like granola bars or energy bars. Attention students going to Baja, Mexico. Climate is likely to be hot and dry. Very hot and dry during the day and at night it can cool off a lot. Uh, so one thing that Baja students have to bring is a sleeping bag keep it lightweight and small and compact. A sleeping bag rated at 20 degrees is perfect. You may also want to bring a thin sleeping liner. Finally, a camp pillow, or if you do not want to bring a small compact pillow, you can just use a sack of your clothes to lay on top. Attention students going to Belize. Climate will be hot and humid. That means they will also be buggy. Be sure to pack bug spray, especially with DEET. Finally, Belize students will need to make sure that they have $40 set aside as an, as an exit fee. That's it. See you in the field.